it, we have heard from President Trump now, now 7.30 Eastern, uh, that, quote, I have been indicted. Now, this is coming on social media, on True Social. We'll put up the graphic right now because I don't have it uh, here on the computer. Uh, we had heard uh, that there were rumblings, uh, and there was certainly uh, the fact that he had been a noticed, noticed by the United States uh, attorney, the special prosecutor, that he had been a target of the investigation. Page two, I have been summoned to appear at the federal courthouse in Miami Tuesday, 3 p.m. I never thought it possible that such a thing could happen to a former president of the United States who received far more votes than any sitting president in the history of our country and is currently leading by far all candidates, both Democrats and Republican, in the polls of the 2024 presidential. I am an innocent man. Uh, that's on True Social. Uh, that's page two, it says. We don't know if we have page one uh, about what he has been indicted for. This was Jack Smith, the special counsel. But well, there's the, the handling of classified documents. classified documents and, more importantly, Lynn, the potential obstruction of the investigation of his. It's the sole saying in Washington, worse than the crime is the cover-up, and it would be the cover-up that would get him in deep trouble. This is far more serious than the patently political uh, indictment in New York for an ancient bookkeeping problem he had with... Uh, the, the accounting of the revenues of the Trump enterprises. All right, so here's what uh, this this says now, page one. Uh, now, we have to sort of preface this by saying the last time he said he was going to be indicted, it was a long before he was. He sort of gave us, what, a two or three week build up to the Alvin Bragg thing, although he now says that he has to be in Miami Tuesday at 3 p.m., so that gives us the idea that he has been served with something. The corrupt Biden administration has informed my attorneys that I have been indicted seemingly over the boxes hoax, even though Joe Biden has 1,850 boxes at the University of Delaware, additional boxes in Chinatown, D.C., with even more boxes at the University of Pennsylvania and documents strewn all over his garage where he parks his Corvette and which is secured by only a garage door that is paper thin and open much of the time. All right. Uh, we, we thought that the New York indictment of a former president was something, but that was Alvin Bragg. That was a local district attorney. This, this is the Rubicon, is it not, of now for the first time the federal government and the Justice Department of the opposing party has indicted a former president? The Rubicon, but not the last Rubicon, because there's also another uh, politically ambitious elected law enforcement official in Georgia who is investigating whatever Trump and his minions did with regard to challenging the res election results in Georgia. But this is probably bigger than either of those two, because this is a more serious prosecutor, someone not tainted with uh, having been elected on pledges to be difficult to Mr. Trump. So, th th and we can already see his defense. It's what about? Right. No. This is this is this is and this is pretty typical of, of President Trump. What, what about all the other people who have documents? We know that Jack Smith, uh, who is the special prosecutor, was appointed. Uh, he works for Merrick Garland, uh, and Merrick Garland works for for President Biden. Today, actually, in a news conference, President Biden was asked about this. He said, "I've never put my hand on the scale." How much are we to believe that the decision to indict Donald Trump was that of the special prosecutor and his alone? I think that's clear in the sense that uh, Merrick Garland is an experienced Washington hand. He served on the second highest court in this country, the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, he's now been attorney general for a while, and so he knows that the last thing he wants is to have anyone be able to say his fingerprints are on this. The whole point of an independent prosecutor is independence. And I think uh, he can, he, Garland, can say that that has been preserved. There is always the issue of prosecutorial discretion. There are lots of crimes that are committed around the world uh, that many are not uh, ever charged. This is the last page of uh, President Trump's missive. This is indeed a dark day for the United States of America. We are a country in serious and rapid decline, but together we will make America great again. Okay, so uh, he's still running for re-election, doesn't matter, or for election, doesn't matter whether he's been indicted or not. But the idea that a former president is going to be indicted. We are going to cross this Rubicon for taking documents that were supposed to stay in some archives somewhere. There's no evidence that there's anything other than having the documents and not giving them back. There, that inherently has a political undertone, does it not? It does, particularly because he says, and one doesn't know if he quite believes this or not, but he says, 
he could, by thinking about it, just having entertained the thought, he could have declassified these. Therefore, there's no secrecy involved. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.